behind us all the fun. They have no cares in the world. Julia, your mother would be rolling over in her grave if she saw how you were moping. Two glasses of wine, Marido. I know, senorita. And she would want me to remind you to be a man. Marido! I know, senorita. And she would not want me to let you make a fool of yourself. Marido! I know, senorita. But it makes my blood boil. Susanna was my girl. We had an understanding. And now, that fickle-hearted chulap is too busy for me. She's never home when I call. She never waits for me until I'm off work. No, she's out in a battle with I don't know who. I caught a glimpse of her walking around the corner with another man. But I couldn't tell if it was handsome or ugly, young or old, hunched over or straight. But I know Susanna was with another man. Julian, your mother. I know, senorita. Marido, I have asked for two glasses of wine at least 30 times in the last five minutes. Do you think I could get them by the end of the century? You asked for wine? I heard nothing of the kind. I don't think you enunciate very well. <laughs> I am going to take Julian to Susanna's to settle this affair. You stay and wait for our friends who will be coming to meet us here. Then we will all go to the Pavena together. Come on, Julian. No, senorita, I can't. I'm afraid of what I might say or do. Your mother. And you! Please do not forget what I just told you. Me forget? I never forget. <laughs> oh, good evening, Don Sebastian. Good evening to you. <coughs> hey, where are you off to, Julianillo, to Verbena? I just don't know about Sebastian. Uh, yes, actually, he's going to be accompanying me tonight. Even though I'm part of the older set, things will go quite better for him than if you were with the younger crowd. <laughs> I could agree with that. Well, how much fun. And spend a little money, Julianita. Mm -hmm. I would love to go to the Vavena, but I have a sick patient. Hmm. Male or female? Oh, what are you insinuating? At my age. <laughs> uh, no offense, but you know what they say about 30 old men. Yeah. And I'm afraid it is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, my whole family is going to the Verbena. We're going to sit in our porch, looking out on a very lovely street where there will be dancing all night. We're going to have the best view of anyone in Madrid. Did you know this year that we'll have 72 different dance venues set up for the festival? 72? 72. And with all the modern conveniences. If my patient feels well enough, I will join you. I will see you then, mi querido Gladiolo. Sebastian? You are completely right, my friend. But if I love all the doctors of Like a young man courting Cadia Serio. What can I do? Now, my sweet 
darlings, don't come cheaply, because you see it's not too round that they can go about the plaza and un vestido de per count. Then I must ask myself this question, for it occurs to me at times. Perhaps they love me, these chiquillas, my dinero, not a loss. <laughs> yes, que las dos. Yes, yes, the both. <laughs> Make me happy and proud to be honored. While they patiently wait for the moment when I will decide, son, <laughs> which of the two I like the most? Which of the two I like the most? <laughs> Susanna. Together they form the Chase Susanna. If the others in the Bible could not resist the beauty of the Chase Susanna, how can I? And how am I to choose between the two? Then they would not be Casta Susanna. Ah, now let me think. Casta loves me more, and I love that. Susanna loves me less, but I love that too. So I shall take them both to the verbena in the new silk shawls that I bought for them. Oh, unfortunately, I shall have to take that Aunt Antonia with us as well. Her voice is enough to raise the heckles on the back of my neck. But it can't be helped. I better go prepare my prescription so I shall be free by tonight. Come on, you louts. We have an errand to run. We do? What is it? I'll tell you when we get there. That Julian is such a child, but he has a heart of gold. Come on. Let's go.
What do you want to do now? I don't know. Whatever you like. Go around the block then. My two charming sweethearts. The time of life for me is now uncertain. Yes, every girl I see looks so, so lovely. There they are, there they are, waiting patiently for me now.
where they live. These two girls are decent girls, but it may not seem so because their aunt, who is rather rough, has raised them and been like a mother to them, you see. Go on. Go on. Well, when their mother could no longer take care of them, Aunt Antonia stepped in and took over. But it was no fault of the mother, you see. Go on. Go on. That is to say, the mother died. Claro, claro, go on. Susanna has been seeing Julian for a year, and Julian has eyes only for Susanna. Yes, yes, we, we know, know this. The problem, as I see it, is that Julian is a man who refuses to compromise. Why should he? Women should do all the compromise. Men shouldn't have to. Oh. Between friends, you have never compromised to keep peace in the family. Well, maybe occasionally. <laughs> if it's not something of great importance. Aha! Uh -huh. I think a man who will not compromise with his wife is a truly irrational person. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we are here to help my wife protect Julian in any fights that he might start. After all, she is his godmother and she loves him like her own son. Well, I think that women should still do some of the compromise. It's not the same. A man who will not compromise is too big for his britches. <laughs> and a woman who won't compromise? It doesn't apply. Women don't wear britches.
noches, caballero. Buenas noches, tenga usted. There are troubles unexpected. ¿Quién es este? So her memory is faulty. But you see, that's how it is. I will see if with some help she can recall just who I am.
all our carriage to take us, say we will take us first of the way. Now, for when the Marcos go for refreshment, we can hear them from us away.
slipped away from me, but I will find him. Is that the old goat there was Susanna? Maribima, Felipe. I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. I thought you were Susanna and that old pharmacist. Ave Maria, Julian, what is the matter? What are you doing? You look awful. Susanna left me for that old reprobate of a druggist. I'll find him if I have to chase him to the edge of the earth. I'll make them pay. Oh, please don't do anything foolish. I'm sure she loves you and you alone. Just talk to her and find out why she's upset. I'm afraid it has gone too far for that now. Oh, it is never too late for you. must not give up, Julian. Julian has never behaved like such a hot bitch before. What's happening to him? I'll be rolling over in my grave with his mother by the time this evening sees her. I want to go arrest him! You better take me away or kill that old lady. Quiet, quiet, everyone! Quiet! I will sort this all out. Senor Inspector, this Lasco wiped his out to me and excited the dogs! Her dogs bit me and ripped my pants. She is to blame for this whole mess. My dogs were only trying to protect me and my dogs! I can't understand a word you say. What a voice. Oh, but how bad are you? Don't you speak to me like that or I'll have you arrested for resisting an officer. Oh! And who are you? Costa, Susanna. Oh, you're very funny. No, really. And I am their mother. And their rent. <laughs> How disgusting. <laughs> citizen of our town, huh, Hulanian? Young lady, maybe you can tell me who started this fight. Was this young man bothering you without your consent? He has always been more than polite to me. Oh! So Take this woman away. She is obviously the troublemaker. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you young people need to sort this situation out on your own. Yes. You two need to calm down and talk this over. Do you really want to sulk and lose this lovely young girl? Do you really want to keep company with a man old enough to be your grandfather? Go find a quiet table where you can talk this over. We don't want to end up like them. Maybe we should talk as well. I think we should. <laughs> Why turn away when my eye catches yours? Tell me why. Why do you ignore me and scorn me as one? Tell me why. Me. No. Oh, why do you look so intense? <laughs> 
promise to never sulk again. And I'll take you dancing all night long, and then to the bullfights. Whatever you want. But first, I'm going to fix the hole those stupid dogs put in my pants. Wait right here while I step in the shop. Don't let him go in there. I'm afraid Johnny Lodion's in there. He'll lose his temper all over again. You! Escort him to the next hotspot of the Verbena. Yes, sir. 